What I want to share with you today in this video is a review of an ACT email enhancement add-on for Outlook. What this video covers. We're going to talk about the problem with ACT email and Outlook, three things I like about this add-on, and three things I don't like about this add-on. Problems with ACT email and Outlook. ACT email, the program that's within ACT itself, has really been deemed kind of clunky and, and, and people have been frustrated with it for some time. So they want to revert back to Outlook. Now there is an Outlook integration piece with ACT and it's pretty useful, but there's some things that it falls short on. There's no merge functionality. No mail merges can be done from Outlook or with Outlook. No update for ACT contacts. There's also no ACT activities available uh, to, to be created from Outlook and you must disable Word as the editor from within Outlook. Now you can do a mail merge from within the ACT email program and hand it off to Outlook but it isn't as comprehensive as what's available in the program I'm about to show you. So I'm going to talk to you about the ACT email connect professional. It's created by a company in Germany. Now there's three things that I like about this program. First of all, it extends functionality of Outlook for ACT users and allows you to use Word as your editor. It's pretty simple. It just creates two icons on your as your toolbar. You can create a new message simply by clicking that new simple message. And you'll see you get these toolbar icons that are here. Now you can send and attach to the contact. You can send and attach manually to the contact. You can actually attach to a group as well as a company. So within, within Outlook you can right click on an email message. Down here you'll see there's a section of new options to choose. You can also go to the contact or create an activity. Let's go ahead and create an activity real quick. So you choose create an activity. It looks up that email address, finds the contact, puts the subject in the regarding field and then copies the details of the message uh, there in the details section. You schedule the appointment, whatever it is to do or a call, hit OK and you're done. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Outlook and we'll just reply to this message. So I've composed this message and you see that the word integration is enabled because you get the grammar and the, uh, the spelling check options. I'll go ahead and choose send and attach to contact. I'll cancel on the spell check and you can see that it is notifying me down here. Let's go ahead and verify that right here. You can see I can click and open the message and there it is. Let's go back to Outlook and reply to another message that's from the same user but it's from a different email address. I'm going to go ahead and hit send and attach to contact. And then you see that it prompts. There's no contacts found for the following email address. Well, I know that this is somebody's personal, this is this contact's personal email address. So I'll choose the contact and I'll say, let's attach it to this person. I hit OK. It begins to attach the message and says, hey, do you want to update the email address for this contact? And I say, you know what? I do. This is a personal email, so I'm going to check that and it auto fills it here. If there are multiple addresses on this email message I just replied to, I could hit this drop down and pick the one that applies. So I'll hit update email address, and you'll notice on the home address it has added the personal email address that I just indicated. And if I go back over to the history here, you'll see that it recorded a history of that message that I just sent. Now another thing I like about this is mail merge. If you want to do a mail merge, you simply click the create a new message advanced. And you can choose from the current contact, from the current lookup, you could choose contacts manually. You can determine who's going to be carbon copied or blind copied. You can choose which address field you want to use. You can send deferred. So you can indicate, you know what, send this email deferred for a later date because you're doing customer service and you don't want to follow up. Uh, immediately you want to follow up in a few days. Here's the power of it all. Templates. This is huge. You can pick from any of the ACT templates that you've created and send from here. So I can choose the template that I wish. I can actually 
attach files as well through this dialog box. I can save the template attachment combination as well for future sends of this message. Fill out the subject. And if I'm sending to multiple contacts, I can send as a mail merge. I'll go ahead and cre create mail. It'll go utilize that template, merge the information from that contact record in the ACT database, and there's the message in Outlook. Send and attach to the ACT contact, sends it out, records the history there, and then it's received on the other end. So there's the message, the subject, and the email that was merged out. Lastly, compatibility. It supports ACT 2005, 2006, 2007, and 2008, but it also supports Outlook 2000, 2002, 2003, and 2007. This is particularly of value for Outlook 2007 users who want this type of functionality and don't and have a version previous to ACT 2008. So there's three things they can do better. One, you have to wait a full business day to get the license. Uh, I think that it should be a little more automated than that, but that's the system that they have set up. And it's not all that bad. It's one business day. Trial is poorly implemented. They limit the trial to running, I think, for 20 minutes in memory. And then it, while it's running, it only connects to contacts that start with vowels and some other limitations. Um, so it, 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 it's not poorly implemented. I'd like to see a seven-day full-blown trial maybe limit it to 100 contacts or something. Anyway, and there's no interface to modify the configuration after the install. You have to modify a .ini file. Now, it wasn't hard to figure this out, and they have great support, so it really wasn't that big a deal, but I just think they should have a user interface to make it easy to modify that, that file and the configuration. So is Email Connect Pro for you? If you want to extend Outlook functionality for ACT and increase efficiency, if you're using Outlook 2007 and you're using uh, a version of ACT that's previous of ACT 2008, also if you don't mind waiting a business day to get the license, then this may very well be something you should check into. So uh, the product is Email Connect Pro, and I provided a link below for you if you want to get more information on how to purchase it. My name is Travis Campbell. I'm wishing you all the best, and we'll speak with you next time on the web.